Hey guys, what's going on? So my little uh, ST Link, uh, custom ST Link boards came, and uh, they look good. I assembled it and everything, but I did make some mistakes. Um, but first, let me give you, I guess, an over an overlook of the uh, the board itself, and I'm gonna fix the mistakes and order a new batch. Um, okay, so. Obviously, here's the main uh, microcontroller that's going to act our, as our uh, ST Link and COM port. These right here are to plug in another ST Link, which goes plugged in. I'll just show you guys right here. You kind of just stick this in there, or you could put female headers, whatever you want. And that's to upload the, the ST Link firmware in there. So that's what those are for. Um, and then here are what you would use to program another microcontroller, another STM32. And as you can see, there's a place for RX and TX because this will allow you to have a virtual COM port or through the same uh, USB USB connection. Um, the only thing I don't have yet is because I ordered some parts. Actually, I don't have the microcontroller and I don't have this, the oscillator. That's what goes here. It's a MEMS oscillator. I didn't use a crystal. Um, and this one, actually, I just took off uh, something else I had lying around. I think a burnt ST link or something. So I used that. And I didn't use, uh, I don't have the oscillator yet. So I was able to connect this other, this normal ST link one, um, two. And I was able to upload firmware to this chip. So the connections and everything is fine. Uh, obviously, it's not going to work because it, ne it needs to operate at a certain frequency. Uh, so, and the oscillator is not there, so it's not really going to. None of this is really going to work yet. Now, the big mistake I made was that once um, I uploaded the firmware, right? I had partially built the circuit. I uploaded the firmware, and I just wanted to test it. So I go ahead. I went ahead and I soldered the uh, the USB connector to it. And unfortunately, it turns out I have all my USB connections reversed. So I have uh, I have five volts here, and then um, positive, negative uh, for the USB data lines, and then ground or whatever. The point is that all the connections are reversed. So when I when I plugged in the USB, it fried my microcontroller, or maybe it fried the uh, voltage regulator. I don't. Know. The point is it fried something. And now I can't connect to the chip anymore through this, through these uh, connections over here. So lesson learned, I have to fix the schematic and the connections here, get them proper, um, oriented properly, and then uh, reorder the uh, the PCBs, and then wait for my, my actual parts that are in the mail, and try again, right? Um, but yeah, so this is basically what it's going to look like. It's about maybe the size of my thumb. Let me see. Yeah, it's about the size of my thumb. And here it is in comparison with a normal uh, ST-Link. It's, it's about, if you include this plastic thing they come with, it's the same size as that. It, and it's that much shorter. Um... But yeah, so this is uh, basically broken. It doesn't work. I have actually <laughs> because let me see. So I have all these other ones <laughs> that came with it, right? Um, now, in essence, they do work. You just can't use a USB, right? So then what's the freaking point? so they're trash um it was relatively cheap so i'm not too mad about that um what else oh another thing that i i think i'm going to change is this microcontroller one it has more pins than i need um but i do need a certain amount of memory this qfn package it, it looks nice right because you have these uh let me focus over here where am i you have like no leads right so it does look pretty cool nice clean 
it's a quad flat package right so there's no leads on it it allows me to make my whole entire PCB smaller so that's cool um, it's I don't know I didn't struggle to solder it that much but that doesn't mean it was easy uh, I, I did get it on there pretty quick actually I had it on a, on a different um, PCB on like on a different one of these by itself oops let's move the camera I had it on one of these where I was practicing it and I got it pretty quick because I had this one already populated with all the resistors and caps and everything so then I took it off of this one and I put it onto this one and I also got it pretty quick again so I'm not sure if I should stick with that um, we'll see but um or if I should change anything else. Another thing I did mess up, I, I tried to make this symmetrical, and if you look at the, uh, it might be easier to look at it like this, it is not symmetrical. This uh, this edge is a little different. As you can see, this one is a little wide. Comes, I don't know, it's just not symmetrical. Um, and that's because, you know, you, you have to draw the outlines by hand with primitive shapes on the uh, PCB software and Altium. But anyway, so um, by the time I fixed this, I was really sick this weekend, so I didn't get to do much. Um, but I'm going to fix this, hopefully tonight, and then reorder it, um, hopefully tonight, if I'm comfortable, if I feel like, I have to decide if I'm going to use these chips. Actually, I think I will, because I already have five of them on the way. So, um, actually, no, I only ordered two. Whatever, I'll see what I do and I'll fix it and I'll reorder it. Uh, let me know if you th any suggestions if I should uh, maybe change something or maybe the shape. I don't know, but this is uh what it's gonna be for the most part. All right, guys, thanks.